In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up a new community on your priorities alongside with some groups on a predefined subject that I have already prepared. So first thing you do, you go to yrpri.org or ypus.org for our US cluster and you locate the three-point menu at the top of the screen. So you click it, you press Add Community and now Chrome will offer me to sign in as uh, users that I've already saved in this browser as a console and I press New Users and uh, I put my name here, Robert Testbjarnason just some random uh, email here and, uh, and when I'm completed I press Create User and uh, now we're in the Community Create and Edit screen and we have Name, Hostman, Description so I have everything prepared here so we'll uh, go first here and we'll put in the name and uh, our subject is Better Policies for Disabled People this is sort of a hypothetical uh, crowdsourcing effort uh, uh, to do with uh, coming up with ideas on how uh, to improve policy for disabled people. So here's, uh, we asked for host name, so um, this is the host name that you would use then to access your group on your priorities. And uh, I will just put something random here. Um, and there's a lot of options. Uh, we will uh, describe and go over all the options uh, in a separate video, but uh, I will next upload the logo. I prepared that here and uh, we only want admins to be able to create new groups and we want to hide all tabs to simplify the user interface uh, for this exercise. We would uh, add a Google Analytics ID usually and here is an important element which is the access. So we're going to create a public demo so we, we keep the access to public but you can also create secret groups and communities that you need then to invite people uh, explicitly to uh, join and uh, nobody can uh, access it without an invitation. So when you're ready, you press Create, and here we are. Here's our first community. But uh, uh, for uh, anything else to happen, you need to create a group or groups. So uh, you can do that by pressing the big plus sign at the bottom of the screen. And now we're in the Add New Group dialog. And again, I have some uh, uh, text prepared here. We add the name. We add what is uh, a little description of what the objective is. And uh, we upload the logo. And uh, we want uh, public access to this group. We want to allow anonymous access, which is um, uh, appropriate for many subjects, including this. We want to disable location. We don't need any maps uh, for those sort of ideas. And uh, we are going to choose the thumbs up and down as our, uh, as our, as our voting buttons. And uh, we're going to make new point optional. And we're going to hide all tabs uh, to uh, simplify the user interface. And here we go. So now here we have our first group. If you go back up uh, to the community, then you can see now the group is here. We're going to create a couple of more uh, uh, test groups uh, that I already have uh, prepared here. I'm going to copy and paste this quickly. And uh, we upload the logo. Here we go. Public access. We allow anonymous users. Disable location. Um, we're going to use the thumbs up and down for this. And we make new point optional and we hide all tabs. Yeah, there we go. Now we have uh, two groups here. And now for the final group, uh, which is uh, mobility and physical accessibility, uh, press uh, the plus button again. We put in the name and we uh, put in a description here. And uh, we upload the logo. And we put the same setting, anonymous, no location, um, thumbs up and down uh, for, uh, uh, for the voting buttons. We make a new point optional and we hide all tabs. And now we're ready to press create. And now we have a third group. And if we go back to our community, now we have basically uh, the community is ready and people can start to participate. And uh, in many cases, you want to create your community a secret uh, while you're setting it up. And then you can, uh, uh, you know, play around with it and uh, with your uh, uh, colleagues. And you can always edit that here in the community uh, settings. You can put it to secret or public. As, as, uh, and, uh, and those options, they are activated immediately. So, um, uh, but what is inside the group? So it's empty at the moment. There's no ideas. So we will add one test idea. I have uh, already, I'm cheating here a bit, have uh, everything ready in this other document here, which we actually uh, recommend as well to uh, 
uh, you know, be a sort of prepared text and things like that. Uh, um, and uh, and so here we, we here we have the, a new idea dialog, and we have a title for it, we have a description for it, and we have an optional point four. You can also hide it completely here, and uh, then we have media. You could record a video, or you can actually speak in your idea if you if you so are so inclined. Uh, but we'll upload an image. Uh, I have an image ready here as well. So there we are. We have our first idea, and we have. Uh, the name of the idea, more options for working from home, the description, you can vote it up and down here, it automatically votes my own idea app. Same with the debate points, you can vote them up or down, but you can't comment on them. And here you can point, put points for, points against, and uh, I actually have prepared text here as well for point, uh, for point against. So there you have it, here you have a community, people can add ideas, and uh, yeah. Thank you for watching and uh, listening.